The humble Vauxhall Astra isn't the sort of car that tends to inspire particularly great expectations from people who like their driving, but this one might just surprise a few people. It's the new Astra Coupe, the GTC as it's now known. And although it doesn't have a 300 horsepower engine or a VXR badge, as yet, it does have the makings of a promising driver's car and a particularly promising one for us Brits. Surely this is just an Astra 3 door by another name? Well, no actually. The car uses the same platform as a 5 door Astra hatchback, sure but its chassis dimensions and specification are quite different. There are wider tracks here, a lower ride height, and a sophisticated front suspension setup that General Motors calls Hyperstrut, which is borrowed from the insignia VXR. And this is a car, don't forget, that you can buy for less than £19,000. The even better news is that because almost half of all new Astra GTC coupes will be sold here in the UK, the car has been developed on British roads for the more performance oriented taste of the British drivers. So, how big is the difference? Well, the GTC certainly has a more highly developed feel than a regular Astra 5 door. This is the 2 litre 160 horsepower diesel version and it's got Vauxhall's adaptive dampers. If you stick it in tour mode, which is the softest of, of all three, it's perfectly comfortable, it's refined, it's easy to drive, the steering's nice and light, but at the same time, there's definitely a more tautness in the chassis and a really noticeable slick precision in the steering. And when you cycle through normal and into sport mode, four things change. You get a more aggressive throttle map on the accelerator pedal, you get better body control through higher damper rates, you get less assistance through the power steering system, you also get a rather dim red backlight on the instruments. Now, the backlight and the throttle pedal remap, I have to say, I could live without. But the extra weight in the steering certainly is welcome, gives you a more natural feel for the road, and also inspires perhaps a bit more confidence when you're really pushing on. So where does this car fit in? Well, it's a natural rival for the Renault Megane Coupe and the Volkswagen Sirocco, which is our favourite compact coupe. And I have to say, I think I'd probably still take a Sirocco over this car. But what Vauxhall has done very cleverly is create a car with 90% of the breadth of talent of that Volkswagen, which is an awful lot of talent, it must be said, but also make it a little bit more engaging and entertaining than the Volkswagen. Now, all right, the Astra isn't quite as desirable as a Sirocco, but the car's quite competitively priced. One of these would set you back between £1,000 and £1,500 less than an equivalent of Sirocco. Given the entertainment value, I think that makes it a pretty compelling bargain. The Vauxhall Astra GTC is a quietly impressive road car. The question is, can it handle a place like this, Shousley Walsh Hill Climb, one of the toughest and oldest motorsport venues in the world? This place is steep, it's narrow, it's twisting, it's a thousand yards long, and it's the sort of place where the difference between a good car and a bad one will be immediately apparent. Here we go. Oh, a bit too much wheel spin off the line, but we're all away. First left-hander is called Kennel Bend, and we threw it flat out in third. The next one, crossing. Still flat out all the way up to the steepest part of the course, bottom S. Onto the brake, second gear, carry as much speed in as you can. One in six, the gradient here. And we're on the final straight. 60 miles an hour, coming up to 70. There you go, it's all over. Good fun, that. <laughs>